Do you know that? In 1848, one of the significant historical events was a series of revolutions in Europe. It all began in France on February 22. Protests erupted on the streets of Paris against the conservative monarchic regime. The protests led to the overthrow of King Louis-Philippe and the establishment of the Second French Republic. This event acted as a catalyst for other European countries. People were dissatisfied with the living conditions and lack of civil rights and freedoms, and demanded change. In March, protests for a unified German nation and democratic rights also began in many German states. The first pan-German Frankfurt Parliament was created, consisting of 511 members, which was engaged in creating a constitution. However, these efforts were suppressed by monarchic governments. In March, protests also began against Austrian rule in Vienna, Italy, and Hungary, with the Czech Republic joining them in June. People demanded national independence and constitutional rights. In Italy, even temporary governments were established in many Italian cities, but the revolutionaries were suppressed by the Austrian army. In Denmark, people also demanded democratic reforms, and under this pressure, a constitution was proclaimed by the end of March, and the monarchy was weakened. In Switzerland, a new constitution was proclaimed in June, which established federal democracy, and in Ireland, the desire for independence from British rule was stopped by the British army. In January 1863, Poland rebelled against Russian rule. Despite armed resistance, the attempt was unsuccessful. Overall, the revolutions of 1848 did not lead to significant changes in the political system of Europe. However, they became an important stage in the struggle for democracy, rights, and freedom. Some of the ideas put forward by the revolutionaries were later implemented in constitutional reforms in various countries.